Good morning everyone and welcome to the devotions for Tuesday the 21st of July. This morning I want to think about generosity. I think over the last 19 weeks we've all observed some not so positive things but some very positive things too. Just in the way people have behaved we know that to start with, people were panic buying and maybe being a little bit selfish. Whereas as time went on, we saw groups coming together to make sure that people who were elderly or vulnerable were taken care of. You know, shopping was brought in, meals cooked, prescriptions collected. And I've got to say, I've been very blessed uh, with people who have helped me. And I've got to say, friendships have formed. And once I eventually escape shielding, when that will happen, I don't know. But when I do escape shielding, we're going to meet up for coffee. And these are people that I wouldn't necessarily have met in everyday life. So for me, it's been really positive to see the generosity of people. But as we're starting to return to the hustle and bustle of everyday life, I would say normality, but I don't think normality is a word we can use very easily at the moment because we don't know what normality is going to be. But it got me wondering would we actually keep that generosity or would we go back to our old ways where we can be a bit selfish, maybe spending more time doing things that aren't really important? I think for me, it's made me reevaluate the things I do on a usual daily basis. And it's also got me thinking about jobs that I do within the church. And do I spend so much time doing these jobs that I actually forget what's important? I want to read from Luke chapter 14, verses 1 to 14, entitled, Jesus at a Pharisee's House. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, he was being carefully watched. There in front of him was a man suffering from abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisees and the experts in the law, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. So taking hold of the man, he healed him and sent him on his way. Then he asked him, If one of you who has a child or an ox, if they fall into a well on the Sabbath day, will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say. When he noticed how the guests picked the places of honour at the table, he told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honour, for a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both of you will come and say to you, Give this person your seat. Then, humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you were invited, Take the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he will say to you, Friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honoured in the presence of all of the guests. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all those who humble themselves will be exalted. When Jesus said this to the host, when you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, 
your relatives or your rich neighbours. If you do, they may invite you back and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Amen. You know, really, there's no such thing as a free lunch, or is there? I've been a great fan of the band Bon Jovi for a long time and have even managed to see them four or five times in concert. And I want you to think of, you know, the fame they have, the riches they must have, the royalties that keep coming in. And yet their lead singer, John Bon Jovi, has set up a soul kitchen, or what he calls the soul kitchen. It started off in his hometown of New Jersey, where he could see that poverty was a problem. And in this soul kitchen, people, anyone can eat. But payment doesn't have to be monetary. If there are those who can't afford, they can pay in other ways by maybe clearing a table or helping serve food to another customer. The generosity not only of John Bon Jovi, but also the generosity of anyone who goes to eat at the soul kitchen is so important. Generosity isn't always about riches. Generosity is about loving your neighbour, your rich neighbour, your poor neighbour your black neighbour, your white neighbour. There are so many definitions of loving your neighbour and being generous. So as we come out of lockdown, let's make sure that we're getting our priorities right. Let's show what being a Christian is all about, about loving our neighbour and about sharing everything we have. Let's pray. Father, you have been so generous with us, giving us so much time and the talents you've given us too. Help us to use our time and our talents wisely so that we can show your generosity that we can extend that hands of friendship, that we can love our neighbour just as you love us. We ask this in your name. Amen. Whatever you do today, I hope you have a blessed day and I hope that you can reach out in generosity to others. God bless.